Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is mod or modulus or modulo or the percent sign. Now the reason I said all of those things is because that is the way we would find this inside of the engine. So mod is what I'm going to refer to it. It is basically the leftover fraction or the remainder of two numbers. Let me show you what I mean by running my example. We have zero mod five and my result is zero. If we hit next number, we have one mod five equals one. What that means is one goes into five zero times and the remainder is one. Now we don't care how many times it goes into it. So for example, if we go eight, eight can go into five one full time and then leaves you with three as a remainder. And you'll notice it'll continue cycling through there. So you can think of the mod or the modulo or the modulus as the remainder of a fraction. However, it uses the percent sign to indicate its mod. So that's something that may throw you off. Now there's a couple of things. We have three different versions of the mod. We have the int version, the float version, and then the byte version. They're all gonna work the same. Two inputs, one output. The output is basically the remainder of the fraction, of uh, the division math. However, the reason why I said modulo and modulus and percent is if we right click and we type in percent. So let me figure out what my percent sign is on my keyboard. There it is. If we do the percent sign, you'll find you find them. You're going to get them. And if you look at the tooltip, you'll see it says modulo. However, if we type in mod u low, you'll find they don't come up. You have to type in modulus and they'll come up. So that's just what it is. There's three different ways of finding it. If you're looking in the blueprint thing, it's going to be modulus or the percent sign to find it. Now in terms of actual use, I show you an example. So if my current integer, let's say starts at zero and my mod is going to be three and I run this, you'll find basically we have one, two, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, zero. It's the remainder of how many times? Nine goes into three, three times with the remainder of zero. 10 goes into three, three times with the remainder of one, two, etc. For usable uses, we can actually, if we put this into a for loop, so my example right here, and let's say our for loop is gonna run 100 times, but every 20 times I want to do something. Well, we could keep track of the index and we could see maybe if it's divisible by 20, or we can see, I mean, there's lots of things we could do it, or you can use the modulus this right here. Basically, my index is going to increment every time between 0 and 100. We're going to mod 20 it. And then if the remainder or the output is 0, then it's true and we want to do something. That will give us this result. Do something now. Now, well, let's go ahead and move this to like 15 seconds. That's going to give us do something now six times. The first time through, it's going to be 0. And then every time after that, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then zero to start with, ends up giving us a loop where we get every 20th time we do something. So that's when it's useful. That is that is a use of the modulus or modulo. Other than that, that's it. That's gonna wrap up our video. It's really simple. Again, if you wanna just think of it in simple terms, you're gonna have two inputs. Whatever your remainder is for division purposes is going to be the output of your mod.